Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Rise SMP today! We are going to do some upgrades to our wheat farm here because I'm so sick and tired of, of having to harvest all this by hand. Like, I literally have to run through and harvest like all like 70 or 80, whatever. No, it's like it's actually more like 200 plots of land here and I want to make this into an automatic farm So what we're gonna be doing this episode is I'm gonna be doing a majority of the work off of camera But I'm gonna be explaining every single step to you guys So in case you guys are playing on a survival world in case you guys are playing on a uh, You know another SMP server that you guys might have you guys can build a farm just like this at your base or at your home Whatever you want to call it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna slowly mine all this up really quickly and uh, we're gonna start to make and uh, plan out everything a little bit more I guess you could say better because we want to make this farm as efficient as possible and um, So the main the main goal is I want to be able to push a lever and then the lever will have a bunch of water sources which will make the water flow down into an area and after the water flows down into the area it'll collect all of the wheat and with all the wheat of course um, all of the wheat will collect into a hopper and the hopper will lead into a chest and after that I'm hoping that it actually begins to uh, slowly just basically an auto harvest and then all I have to do is replant everything by hand which doesn't take too long so I'm gonna make maybe a two or three layer farm here which is gonna take a little bit but we've got some time today so we're gonna try to see if we can make this this farm work properly holy crap I'm dropping frames right now excuse the lag guys it's because I'm rendering a video in the background on top of all these cows it just makes everything very very laggy so don't mind the lag too much but hopefully it's not too big of a deal for you guys but it should only happen whenever I'm close to that big uh, farm right there, the little cow farm. What is hitting me right now? Oh my god, there's a baby zombie. It's nighttime. All right, so what we're going to do is finish up mining this, and then we're going to kind of plan out exactly how we're going to do this. So I've watched a couple of videos, and it looks like, holy crap, it looks like the most common one involves a bunch of, like, channels in the middle of the farm. And then uh, past the channels, there's like uh, there's like glass above the channels, and then there's like one big waterfall in the very very back, which basically gets held until you push a lever, which harvests, which lets the water flow, and then harvests all of the all of the wheat from the farm. So we're gonna see. I'm I'm not that good with redstone, guys, as I've explained in the past episodes, but we're gonna try our best to do this um, in the most efficient way possible. So we're gonna I'm gonna grab three buckets here. I already have an extra one, so let me put one. Let me put those two back. Actually, just drop that. I don't need it, and we're gonna go. So what we're gonna do is, since we know that from uh, it's a fact that water extends eight blocks outwards, and that it also can uh, keep making more blocks if you if you put a level below it. So what we're gonna try to do here is we're gonna cover up this, and then what the heck was that? Uh, so this is going to be our collection area. This last layer here is going to be our collection area. So what I'm going to want to do is put the dirt and put the the last layer here. So this is where we want the lowest point of the farm to be. This is where all the wheat is going to collect up and get collected into hoppers. So from there, obviously we want a water source here. Hopefully that reaches into here, which will be the chest, I guess. And let me grab another water and then there's that so now all we want to do is we want to extend this it's gonna be since we know that water flows seven or eight blocks we're gonna count to eight what the heck one two three four five six seven eight so hypothetically speaking this should extend out all the way into the water source over there which it does so as you guys can see it slowly starts to flow this way and then that means that if there was wheat here it would flow here into that collection pile so here is our eight mark right here uh, and then what we're gonna do from this point is we're gonna have to extend this one up like so so then if there's a water source here we need to extend this another seven so one two three four five six seven so now if we have a water source up here the water source will flow all the way down down into here and continue to flow along in that direction so it looks like this is about the biggest farm size we could make without making this too complicated on ourselves so we're gonna take up all this dirt right here and we're gonna slowly move it on up and we'll be back in a second guys I'm gonna do this off of camera just to make it a little bit quicker of a video 
and then uh, we'll, we'll remake this layer on camera up here and then we'll see if it flows correctly so we'll be back in one second all right guys we are back and uh, we're gonna continue on with this build basically and as oops I put a repeater there and as we counted seven here we're gonna try to make the water sources a little bit um, more efficient so there's no water source in the middle of these blocks right now, so there's nothing that's going to be filtering or uh, making these actually plantable. So how we're going to make this efficient is we're going to count four blocks in. So one, two, three, four. And that means that in this channel right here, we should have a water section. So we sh this should all be water in this middle section right here. So we're going to take this and put water all the way down. So this is going to be a water channel here and then we're going to have blocks above it in order for us to like this is what we're actually going to be walking on. So there's there's our water channel number 1. And then so that's four and since you guys might be wondering why I'm counting to four So one two three four It's because water can filtrate a soil piece four blocks in any direction So if there's water flowing here, it's gonna filtrate four this way and four this way So we're gonna count four here one two three four and then that means that we're gonna put another Actually, we can make this even we can make this double the efficient and let's uh, put dirt here. So this is one, two, three, four. We're gonna make this one, two, three, four, and then this will be the last layer of water. And this should be one, two, three. Four. Oh my gosh! I made this farm almost perfectly, so I can only have, I can have two perfect water layers here, and that'll basically filter my entire farm and make it so that everything is plantable. So there we go. We have our two sections here. One here. A bigger one in the center and then one here and that should filter it out now all we have to do is try to figure out how to make this water flow down here properly without without messing up anything so we're gonna cover actually I know exactly what to do we're gonna cover this up and then we're gonna have the water flow down so this water should flow all the way down here and because of that this water is gonna filter or it's gonna fill uh, what is that called what's the word it's gonna fertilize there you go it's gonna fertilize all the soil on this side and all the soil on this side so we'll be able to grow crops there now let's see if we can figure out a way to let's put cobble here cobble there and that'll still get filtered there so that's perfect and then all we have to do now is we're gonna fill up this layer and since this is the fall down layer uh, this has to be co one cobble here, I think, and then let's fill up the dirt first. So I'm, 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 I might be confusing myself a little bit, making it harder on myself. So let's fill up all the dirt. So do 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 do, and then here, I believe, yep. And then this is gonna be the water layer here. There we go. All right, making everything, ma everything makes a lot more sense now. So let's count off seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, that's perfect there. And then let's fill in the rest of these holes. You guys are probably like, what is this guy talking about? I'm not the best at explaining redstone, guys. But if you guys if you guys watch the video closely, it's basically because if you guys know how water works, water can flow up to a distance in any direction of eight. So if we make it uh, seven blocks, that means that the eighth block of water will flow down here and then continue to extend all the way through, which makes it so that we only need one source of water. Uh, for, to actually make the farm work properly so this is it's just one of those weird uh, mechanics that is in Minecraft I guess you could say where when it comes to water and how water flows it's like water physics in Minecraft and how it works so this will be able to fertilize all this land up to this point here so that's perfect and then now this layer here needs its own little water source so we're gonna take that and here we go there's another layer here we're slowly making our way towards an automatic uh, water farm so this is gonna be this is gonna be perfect guys and you guys might be wondering why don't you just put water below this dirt block and that'll fertilize everything um, how water works is it, c it doesn't fertilize blocks above it or below it well I think it does below it but the best way to do it for a nice and efficient farm is to put the water source directly adjacent to the actual um, to the actual plot of land that you're trying to fertilize so it makes it a lot easier and since water doesn't fertilize a, a block above it this is why we have to make it this way and it's uh it's uh, it's, a, it's really complicated how redstone and how water works but once you get the hang of it once you've done or once you've seen a couple of examples it's pretty easy to get uh to start making stuff out of out of this sorts of this sort of farm i guess you could say i actually want to make this out of cobble not uh not <clears throat> dirt because it'll start to fertilize that so this has to go here 
and boom and then all we got to do now is place a water source here and over there on that other side so water water source here and a water source here and then all we gotta do is block this off like so and we have two nice pieces of land right here oh my gosh this water water flow is too strong all right block that off perfect and let's get to it so here's our perfect farm oh i need to put a little cap over here actually i don't need this here and i don't need oh that's perfect there so that works there and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that there cover this up so uh the water doesn't get stepped on by anything and here's our farm guys this is the basic design of the farm and now all we have to do is figure out a way to get water to filter all the way down this system into a into a little area over there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna block this area off so th the water is gonna be flowing from up here we're gonna block this area off and then we're gonna make a sort of an easy mechanism I guess you could say that will um, that will release water when we break a block or even uh, I need more cobblestone but we're gonna try to make a mechanism that releases and holds water that will be able to make this into an automatic farm so I'm not sure I'm not too good with redstone so I'm, I might just make an, a simple mechanism that holds water and then all I gotta do is like break a block and the water will start flowing that probably sounds a lot easier we could probably make it into a redstone mechanism off of camera because I really need to do some research before I try to even uh, do that but we're gonna try to do it in a way that I know how to off off the top of my head so here we go as you guys can see there is my nice and efficient farm and uh, if we have a water source here since everything is blocked off properly I might need to actually change up a bit but let me see if this works to my oh gosh alright so that as you guys saw right there that doesn't work so we're gonna need to extend this wall one up uh, do, 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 do. I might actually want to make this with like granite or something something that makes it prettier but for for the meantime we're just gonna make this out of out of uh, cobble hopefully you guys don't mind too much I mean I, I just need to make my my place look presentable later on but that should be that shouldn't be too hard once everything is finally fully made and I've been trying to work this on this automatic farm for a while now. I just couldn't actually figure out how to do it properly. So I've been putting it off until I needed to record something today. So I was like, you know what? Let's let's try to let's try to do the challenge that I couldn't complete before. So this is what we're doing now. All right. So if I put a fence here, that should prevent the water. And if I do that, oh god, I got to block off all this water now. All right. Bam, 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 bam. And there, look at that perfect water flow. That's gonna, that water flow is gonna work amazingly beautiful, and it's gonna flow all the potato or all the wheat actually into this little area that we have here. Uh, let's see what we can do now. So after we've done that, we need to make a water flowing area all on the top of this, which will actually hold the water and then release the water once once we have the channels figured out so let me make a block here so that I know exactly where to release the water and where the water is going to be flowing and then from here we're going to make a small platform which is actually going to be the, the the platform that that the water comes from so as you guys can see I'm going to make a small cobblestone platform here and this is where all the water is going to be released from I, I'm kind of worried about the central section here because I need to make sure the water flows perfectly uh, down these steps all into like a perfect uh, little pattern which will make it so that uh, the water is working properly but it, it looks like it shouldn't be too hard to figure out a mechanism for this but if it is we'll probably cut a little bit of the footage out and uh, see what we can do so here's my platform and I want to make a I want to figure out a way to make water flow all the way across this entire area so we're gonna try to separate this into two hmm how am I gonna do this hmm hmm alright we're gonna pause the camera I'm gonna do a little bit of planning and uh, we'll be right back 
<laughs> I've got to figure out. I'm, I'm actually going to see if I can figure out a redstone mechanism right now. And yeah, we'll be back shortly, guys. All right, guys, we are back, and we're actually going to change our plan of attack a little bit here. I figured out a way to do this a little bit easier for me, and uh, instead of instead of having to try to figure out a way to make like a waterfall sort of thing, I'm going to use droppers. So I, I messed around with it a little bit just to test it out, and I'll show you guys exactly what I did. So... If you guys can see here, there's a water, there's a dispenser here with a water bucket inside it, and all I have to do is I have to make a red, like a redstone signal in the back, and then if I have like a lever, if I hit the lever once, it'll obviously dispense the water, and now the water bucket is empty, so then it'll start flowing, and that's when my entire farm will start to get farmed up, and then if I hit the button off, or if I hit the lever off, and then I turn it on again, it will take the water, as you guys just saw right there, the water is back in the dispenser here. So this is what I'm going to do, and I actually, it's nighttime right now, and I need, I need to go kill some more spiders because I don't have enough bows to make more dispensers. So I need one, two, three, four, five, five times three string is I need 15 more string. So I'm going to pause the video, guys. We are, we are going to do some redstone mechanisms for this automatic farm. So hopefully everything turns out well. We're going to go hunting for and looking for some spiders to get uh, more, dis uh, or to get more string in order to make some more dispensers so we'll be back shortly guys um hopefully you guys are learning a little bit about wheat farms at least and uh hopefully you guys are learning just as much as i am because i hate redstone mechanisms and usually insanity is the one who builds a majority of the redstone mechanisms at our bases so hopefully you guys are learning something new hopefully you guys are enjoying the content that i'm putting out so far there's some string on the ground right there and i need that string and i still need to in the next episode i'll probably fi actually mount a horse because you guys uh actually gave me some decent and ideas for horse names so yeah we'll be back shortly guys i'm gonna try to collect some more string and yes we'll be right back all right guys we are back and i managed to get 12 strings so i'm three strings short of my actual goal but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make more dispensers and uh, I actually need to, I might have to look up the, the exact recipe for it because I don't have it memorized. But I know that I need bows, so we're going to make the bows first. We need more room in our inventory. Jeez, there's so much junk in my inventory right now. What the heck is wrong with me? So we're going to need those, actually. Let's get this, put that in there. I need to make like a mob dropping chest where I can just put a bunch of my mob drops. I really need to organize my chest a little bit more. It's kind of, It looks so ugly right now. <laughs> oh, jeez. But no problem. We're going to keep on trucking through. I'm just going to put all these in here for now. We can organize it later. Put the paper in there. All right. So how are we going to make this dispenser? I think we need a bow first. So let's put these in here. Make as many bows as we can. And I know we need redstone and I think cobblestone. Let's grab a stack of cobblestone, and I believe it's a bow in the center, redstone, and then cobblestone like this. Dispenser. Perfect. That's how you do it. All right. So there we go. Made our four more dispensers right here. I think we're short just one, but what we're going to do is we're going to look at our exact layout, and we'll see if we can take one out at a specific place and then replace it, and hopefully we'll have enough. Hopefully we'll have enough. We need more cobblestone walls as well. I should just gra I should grab those now. <clears throat> running back forgot to make cobblestone walls so we're gonna be making those right now did i put any cobble in here yes i did and let's make ourselves some cobblestone fences so there's 61 that should be enough you know you know i'll just make another stack doesn't hurt right doesn't hurt to be over prepared so i want the entire wall to be cobblestone walls on the outside just because it looks a lot neater it probably looks a lot better as well, but we'll see where we go from here. So I can take out this one because this is uh, the outline of it. So I could take that one out. Why is there? Why can't I place a fence here? There you go. All right, I could take that one out, which means I can take this one. I can put a fence here because that's going to get blocked off. And then I can also take. Oh, and then these are dispensers here. One, two, three, four. Perfect. All right, here we go. We've got our thing going on. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a repeater and a redstone pattern, and we're gonna make we're gonna flip flop these back and forth in order uh, to uh, tr stop them from interfering signals with each other. So here we go. Oops, oops, oops. All right, there we go. And then we're gonna block this off with some. Oops, I gotta make this cobblestone. And then we're going to make a little fence area there. So we're going to do redstone repeater, redstone repeater, redstone repeater, redstone repeater. We're just going to follow this pattern all the way through so that these signals don't interfere with each other. There we go. That should be good. Let's mine this lever. 
and then we're going to just connect all these like so. So we're going to actually extend. This is actually perfect how I have a little thing right here. So then I can extend the signal even further without them, uh, without the signal getting too short. So all these should be able to dispense at the same exact time. Oh my god, this is actually going a lot better than I expected if I was going to make a redstone mechanism. So now all I have to do is line this up with a lever that goes all the way back. I actually want to make it on this side because that side is like the scenic side where I can see everything. So I'm going to make it over here. Uh, down this way and it's gonna be on the outside of my fenced area or outside of my little area that I have here and this is gonna be where all the redstone stuff is happening and then I'll have a lever all the way over there and then all I'll have to do is uh, fix up exactly where I want the the lever to be and then I have to fix up the fences around it and this farm should be this farm is almost done I'm gonna make these last couple blocks um, What's it called? Dirt, just because I don't have enough cobblestone right now. And then I need to make more buckets. So I have buckets saved up. So I'm going to grab those buckets and we'll see if everything flows perfectly. And then we'll do our first farm off of camera, take everything off. And then once that is the case, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see if we could farm a full thing with a, an automatic wheat farm so we'll be back shortly guys i'm going to finish the rest of the work off of camera i don't want to make this video too long so hopefully you guys learned something and i'm definitely learning something right now with all this redstone that i'm doing so yeah we'll be back in a short in a short bit guys and hopefully you guys are enjoying and we'll be back in a second all right guys last and final portion i finished everything put water in all the buckets i just need two more spots to fill up here and then we can make this pretty off of camera Here's the last two water buckets going into each of these dispensers, and I think that's a dispenser, or I think that's a bucket in every single one. Yep, it is, and we are good to go. Let us try our first and final test run. Hopefully everything works out, and uh, when it does, we're going to just scream in joy because this is the very first redstone mechanism that I've ever built. Uh, well, on, on here anyway, and uh, if it works properly... Then uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna be very very happy. I shouldn't have jumped off that tree, but whatever. Yolo, right? Anyway, so here we go. Here's just imagine a full fledged farm here, guys. Everything is gonna be nice and uh, powered. If I flick the switch now, it should. Do, do, oh my god, yes! <laughs> Dispenses all the water, and as you guys can see, all the wheat would actually be flowing into this water source here. We'll have a chest in this area right here, which will collect up everything, and then if we flick this twice. Boom, the water goes away and we are all set. So I'm actually going to change this out for a button, which will make it so that it'll just be like a one push and then two push. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, wait. Okay, there we go. Everything works perfectly. Just going to have to torch up this place so no, uh, no mob spawn inside it. But as you guys can see, this was a nice little challenge for me because I hate redstone mechanisms. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you guys enjoyed it, if you guys learned something, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe as always. And once again, this is D-Field with an automatic wheat farm. And we will see you guys later.